So then everyone, it's been a funny few months and I'm sure a lot of you have recognised the fact that I've not actually done any video uploading for the last three to four months because basically lockdown gets rid of any kind of creativity that I may feel. But with the opening of the pubs, yeah, that's coming back again. So what we're going to do in this video, uh, well I'm just going to go and get my car from the pub and then we're going to go and fit new garage door. Hopefully the old man's going to come over and help me. So we're back. The weather is beautiful. So yeah, we're back down at the studio. Oh, let's just get inside. Beautiful hot day. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at the place. My God, what an absolute mess. So there's a few things that I want to do on this channel. We're going to start reigniting the Tuk Tuk videos. That's one of the things. Can we get on a tripod? Let's do that. I think that would probably be better. So yeah, a couple of things I've done since uh, lockdown over the last sort of few months is I've pretty much seen people every weekend. I've not lost my humanity. I've not decided to crawl into a hole like a hermit. I've gone out there. I've made sure that, you know, I've done certain things that are correct, uh, but I've not worn a mask anywhere because they're scientifically Maybe we could talk more about COVID in another video and what's going on there because some long time subscribers to this channel, even though I know, you know, 7,000 of us on here, which is quite cool actually, that you're still here. In fact, a lot of you will probably just leave as soon as you've seen that I've uploaded a video. It's reminded you that you used to be subscribed to this shocking channel. I did a time capsule video in May of last year or late April, early May. And a lot of what I said in that video, a lot of my fears about what was gonna happen, how things were happening, how people were manipulating data to suit their agendas has actually turned out to be true <laughs> which is a bit it's big ended of me to say anyway so what I've been up to uh, well what, what we're gonna be doing the tuk-tuk is gonna be coming back we're getting it rigged up now I've actually now got a camera operator and editor which is gonna help me put more output on all the channels that I sort of run so this well I only run two channels plumber parts and times the James but while I've been in here as well you probably noticed that I've got a nice lighting gantry now um, and also something that I'm gonna be building on this channel it's gonna be so cool, it's gonna be going in here. You guys are getting a first look at this, actually. It's kind of hard for you to see it because it's quite tall, this, this wall is. If I stood here, this goes up about four and a half, five meters. And it all, also we've obviously got this big sort of corner here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ply it in 18 millimeter ply with some inclines and overhangs. Um, I've already bought the holds, you've guessed it. I'm gonna make, oh, look at it. I'm going to make my own climbing wall. My local gym, where I pay £70 a month membership, and I'm going to leave. We weren't allowed to use the changing rooms. Uh, you can only have three people in a swimming pool full of chlorine that was 25 metres by 10 metres. Only three people in it. You're covered in chlorine. Ugh. The uh, tennis courts you couldn't use, you couldn't use the... They made that you couldn't use the climbing wall, which is like the main reason I was a member at that gym. Um, and also, Emily and I have improved our gym no end. In fact, there was a lot of videos that I filmed over lockdown that were of me building things for my gym that I filmed, but because of lockdown and because of how depressed I was because of it, I didn't ever edit and put into because filming something is one thing, but editing it is the creative process happens then. And it's easy for me to film this now and just press a button. But when you actually come to do the editing, that is when it gets really, really difficult. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to build my own climbing wall because then I can train and that's why there's bed mattresses through there because I'm going to have them as extra crash mats. I am going to buy a proper crash mat to go here along this whole floor and it's going to be absolutely bloody wicked. I can't wait. So yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to doing that and, uh, and getting it done. It's going to be really, really cool. But let's, let's get some better lighting actually. Hold on, let's... So what I've done as well is I've made this lighting gantry. Uh, me and my dad did that. We had, we used Unistrut and some bits that we bought off eBay to make it. I've been filming in here uh, for, well it's not actually for my other YouTube channel, it's just for a client. So some of the work I've been doing has just been client production videos, uh, which has been really fun to do. And I've started a production company in my local town, Cambridge, so I can start making videos for companies that are like restaurants, things like that. At the start of lockdown, what I did is I went to uh, companies who were struggling and just made them videos for free, hoping that one day they'd remember that gesture. 
and sort of come back and be like, oh yeah, uh, which would be nice. Do a video for us now and we'll pay for it. So yeah, we've done all that. I mean, I suppose another uh, another sort of thing that's happened over lockdown, uh, about two or three months ago, my dad had a heart attack and wasn't very well. Um, but I mean, it's amazing like uh, how quickly he was sort of looked after and everything and is back down the pub now, walking the dog, walking Jack, um, all that sort of stuff. So we've, we've had, a, I mean, everyone's had a difficult couple of months, but it's been really, really like stressful uh, and hassly. Also, my my cat, Big G, is not very well. Um, yeah, I don't want this to be a down video, God. But Big G is not too great. Uh, he's basically on like palliative cat care, uh, but he's so happy. He doesn't know there's anything wrong with him. So as long as he's happy, I'm happy. He's still killing stuff. That's all that matters, isn't it? We'll, we'll go. Hold on. We'll go through here. We keep moving, don't we? Just hold on. I know it's darker in here, but this is the top of an old oil tank and what I want to do with it is I want to cut out an on air or like a times with James or something on it um, and I'm going to light it from the back with like red LEDs or something but also I'm going to submerge it in epoxy resin. I want to do that on this channel as well. I want to start doing some things that are quite creative. Um, I did start doing that during lockdown. I started, I, I bought a, a router that I started making dovetail joints because I wanted to, I wanted to do more interesting lighting things but Again, lockdown just completely curtailed any creativity, any spark that I had to do anything. And Emily and I were just sort of, we were more interested on in, in, in being healthy. So looking after our, our fitness, we did a lot of training and that takes a lot of time out of your day. Um, you know, it's, a, it's one and a half hours of training every day. Yeah, so we were doing that, we were doing more of that sort of thing than we were anything else. Now that the weather's got better, now that we've opened our pubs up again, um, I'm, well, first thing I'm going to hope is that our nation wakes up and realises what's been done to them because everything is because of the pandemic. No, none of it is. It's because of our reaction to the pandemic. Uh, but today, what we'll be doing is those garage doors. Let's get on with it. So here are the doors in question. Here's the roller door that I'm supposed to be putting in. Hopefully we're going to get that in. I don't know how. And these are the doors that I'm going to replace. So these were basically made bespoke by one of my mates who's a chippy. And uh, also the problem is the wind catches them on a windy day. If that's open while I'm doing work in there or I'm welding or whatever it may be, the wind will catch them and they just fly open, bend up like a mofo. So yeah, we're going to take these off. I'm going to do some prep work now, otherwise the old man will get here and he'll be like, what do you mean you're not ready? And he'll get all very grumpy. But also what I'm quickly going to do is have a coffee as well. It's such a lovely day, man. Spring's back. Beautiful weather. Buds are wild in the tweeds. The buds are twiddling. Oh my God. Some my coffee. Nice leggings, babe. Oh, I don't know. Where, where's, the, where's the instructions? Have thought about that? I'm guessing they're in there. Alright, we'll get them then. <laughs> And it was now I realised that we should read the instructions because we're not supposed to unravel this beast. Oh dear. Daddy O's here now, everyone. Daddy O's here. Right, won't come off. So, obviously, always good to have Daddy O along to help, even though he's wearing clothes like it's midwinter still for some reason. So, anyway, I took the doors off, took the old framing out, and then started measuring up, and then realised that I'd not actually read the instructions properly. Do not remove the packing until attention has been applied to the door. <laughs> also, I love how we're just being watched by Jack, as if he's like, yeah, I knew that all along, you should have asked me. I'd have told you that, because I'm a border collie, and I'm bloody intelligent, and I? So, while Dad's phone is going off, we are now at an incredibly difficult stage, especially for men. Reading the instructions, Hello, and actually taking them in. Uh, I wish I hadn't drunk no, no, three I'm pints of beer last night, well, and a well, couple well, of well. glasses of red, but there we go. <laughs> Uh, no, no, it's all right with Yeah, Dad's on the phone now. The sort of thing he used to have a go at me about when I was his apprentice. Get off your phone. <laughs> 
So we re-rolled up this beast, um, having thought that the instructions were in it, uh, but they weren't. It turns out I'd actually left the instructions on the floor of the garage in the house, along with all the nuts and bolts that we needed as well. But doesn't matter, we found them, and as you can see, we've got it nicely up now. It was Dad's idea to have a rope there and a little lasso, so we've got sort of control over it all the time. I wouldn't want him belaying me going up a, uh, a sport route, but, you know, it's one of those things. But yeah, we got it all going, we got it up there. We re-tensioned it with a set of footies, which is a plumbing tool. And what I mean by that is we turned the inside pipe around and around and around. So I actually brought tension on this internal spring. As soon as we'd done that, it was sorted. And it was more about kind of getting the weight right and all that sort of thing. But it was really good fun anyway. And me and Dad definitely felt like we don't ourselves a beer. Well, that was joy, wasn't it? Jack, come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come here. Sit. The paw. Uh, other paw. Other paw. Down. Down. <laughs> He's a scrummer. He never bites, though, does he? Never ever bites. He never does, does he? He's a happy dog, aren't he? Where's your ball? Come on. It didn't take us long to configure the door weights and all that using the footies to twist up the spring. I know you're going to want a closer look at this, so here we go. Well, it's another beautiful day, another gorgeous morning. Filming this a few days after we fitted the uh, door, it's just there. Big G's out and about, watering the garden. Oh, we've got to go and see G. Unfortunately, he's not very well and he's he's on sort of end of life tabby care at the moment, aren't you, mate? Hey, bro, how are you? Yeah. You see bits of him are bloody shaved off, poor old boy. He's got a bit of a dicky ticker, but I mean, he's, he's 15 now, so, you know, it's one of those things. Anyway, so here we go. This is what you guys want to see. Here's the uh, garage door now. Right, so you have to put this sort of bracketry in, okay? And then this is the bar that goes across and there's like a u-clamp on that so you've got this u-clamp here that you tighten up with this l bracket here and then when you tension it you are effectively tightening up a spring that's just inside there i don't know if you can see it but it's, it's in there basically and what i did to do that if you see my grip marks on this i twisted this with a set of footies that already get a lock that's the good thing about footies because then you can let go of what you're tightening and if you've got something like a roof nearby that's going to stop it from going round again, you're effectively giving yourself loads of time and loads of opportunity to tighten it up, uh, but for not to not for it to sort of roll like mad again. The other thing that we did, because these can go on doors, you know, that are four or five meters high or whatever, um, is when it's rolled down, just in there, the roller, we have to bend that out. You have to do that. So when you pull it down, it comes down like that. Yeah. And then you get it so it's just floating almost. So it'll just sort of float a bit and then you see this here this hole we had to drill that out and then file it out with a square file and what that does i've got the hose on i can't show you but when this these these two arms pop out and that's when it's locked i wouldn't say it's going to stop if someone really wants to get in here i mean it's like anything isn't it if someone really wants to get in something they're going to get in it so the hose pipe here used to hang on the old door there so when i was watering and doing stuff it could easily get out and i could you know do what do what i want what i needed to do so now i don't have that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to weld up a piece for this and then i'm going to have some tracks i've got these tracks here that i use for the studio they actually go in uni strut like this yeah so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a retaining or a retractable thing that will go along here like that and go back again. So that will allow this to sort of get out of the way and recede into that area so it doesn't impinge on the, this part of the shed. But also it will fold around like that and aim down towards the garden. So I'll be doing that in the next video, I think. I'll just do a little mini video of it. You know, put it on the channel, why not? Um, doing loads more flying as well. You know what? Rather than me bab babbling on about what I'm doing, why don't we just end this video on a lovely landing. Check out this greaser. I'll see you in the next video guys. Love you all.